Spin Tires is currently on the Steam Top Sellers list and it's got me excited. Why? Because marketing people wouldn't know what to do with this thing. Imagine this being unveiled at an E3 press conference or something. Do that shit! or an exclusive announcement on a major gaming outlet. But there it is. PC gamers, especially ones heavily invested in digital-only products, they don't care about what games are trending, they don't care about what celebrities are playing. They want to know where they can have unique experiences contained in digital worlds. Or maybe not, but whatever, because what the f do I know? Which is kind of precisely why this is great. For me personally, there isn't much of a game to enjoy within spin tires, but there is this deformable terrain mud physics system, which is something very transfixing to have being simulated at this level of detail. While there is a draw to want to successfully navigate the gooey terrain and deliver the lumber, I couldn't help but wonder how this mud sim will change the face of gaming. Driving services just haven't been simulated like this in a game before. It reminds me of Trials. It started out with this amazing 2D physics engine in a Flash game. But I distinctly remember Trials 2 Second Edition blowing up a bit, bringing lean, acceleration, and brake physics into the spotlight as this PC-only game on Steam that had really good word-of-mouth buzz. It wasn't like a powerhouse game by any means, but it brought this idea that simulating the weight transfer of a bike can lead to an amazing gameplay experience, and it launched it into one of the best goddamn gaming franchises in history. Is Spin Tire's mud system going to be in the next Dirt, or Arma with tank treads, or COD, or GTA? It might, and it might spur on other developers to just try and do better hard surface physics. I guess I think that's pretty awesome. But then again, has water physics ever been as good as Wave Race 64?